In 1990, the first ever web browser was created and it was called World Wide Web. It was later renamed to Nexus and it looked something like this. For the first time ever, regular people could go to a specific address and access information. While there have been some great innovations in terms of capabilities, power, privacy, and RAM usage, 30 years later, we're still interacting with the web browser in the exact same way. Go to the top of the web browser, type in your domain name, and then surf the incomprehensibly large web. Let me ask you this. Why haven't there been any innovations in the way that we interact with the web browser? Well, I've actually been curious about this question for a while, and it originally led me to check out Station. Station helps you focus on your work by eliminating everything in the web browser that might be a distraction. So there is no tabs, there is no browser, it's really just your website wrapped inside the Station app. It comes with some other pretty cool productivity stuff with it, but if you want to check out the full review that I did, you can check it in the corner. And from there, I found out about Identity. Jeremy, their co-founder, actually reached out to me and we had a great discussion about his vision for Identity and how this project came to be. Originally, Jeremy and his business partner were working on a different project, but they wanted something to organize all of the tools that they used to work on that project. Slowly, people started to gravitate towards this organization tool that they had created. And eventually they had so many friends and family giving such positive feedback that they decided it was time to drop their original project and run with what became known as identity. And I always just love learning about projects that come about because you were solving some sort of issue that you had doing something else. It wasn't really even what you intended to create. Uh, it, it was just kind of the natural creation of the project. Okay, you're probably wondering what the heck identity actually is. Identity is really a tool for doers. It's for people that execute their life in a precise and organized manner. It allows you to direct your attention at whichever specific task you're looking to do. It could be your work, it could be focusing on your finances, it could be a meditation session. It's basically a bookmark tool on superpowers that lets you organize your tools in an aesthetic way. And I, I know that that sounds like such a simple thing, but there's actually a lot of thought process that goes in behind the scenes that makes this a powerful tool for the right person. The methodology behind identity actually follows a lot of the same principles that Marie Kondo in the KonMari method uses. At the end of the day, the purpose of the KonMari method is to spark joy in your workplace and life. Staying organized by having specific systems will allow you to jump into your work easier, think clearer, and maintain focus. Using these tactics in the physical world can truly be a game changer. And we can apply these to the digital world as well. And this is where identity comes in. You can simplify your digital life by organizing the way you interact with the web browser. Organize your tiles systemically and aesthetically so that you can think clearly and effectively. So now that I've gone all philosophical on you, here's my identity setup and what I actually use it for. So when it's time to work, I open up identity. I set it as my homepage so that whenever I open up Chrome, then I will be greeted with an organized way to interact with my web browser. So identity is really simple to use. All you have to do is click add a new tile. You can select one of the presets right here, or you can name it whatever you want. Doesn't matter. And then you put the link to the website. Uh, you can put your username and your password. And then the big thing is the category tags. This is how everything gets organized. So you can go up into the left-hand corner and select whichever category you are looking to use. So if I wanted to dive into my analytics, I'd go select analytics and bang, you have all of your analytical websites that you can just jump right into. So you can access your tiles specifically by going into the top left corner and using the drop down, or you can search for a category tag at the top. So if I want to use my design websites, that will pop up everything that is related to my design stuff. Now, a neat feature that identity has is 
if you put your username and passwords into identity, whenever you go to that tile and click on that specific website, it will actually copy your password into your clipboard so that you're ready to enter it when you go to log in. For me personally, I was already part of the LastPass ecosystem, so I didn't feel like transferring all of my passwords and stuff over, I just chose to keep it in LastPass. Now, at the end of the day, identity is a simple tool on the surface, but there is a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. And I can honestly say that it has changed my workflow and made me happier doing work. It has really helped me direct my focus on the specific task that I'm looking to do. And one of the benefits that I wasn't really expecting would do anything was actually closing out my work at the end of the day. I'd always, for whatever reason, been reluctant to just like X out of all the tabs that I had and the programs that I had. And now that I use identity, I'm not so reluctant to do that because I know that there's an organized system where I can just go to that specific task and bang, 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 everything's back open and I'm locked in, ready to work. And not closing out your work before you shut down your computer, uh, it leaves some stress. It's, it's, it's almost as if you haven't stopped working for the day and you just kind of put it on pause rather than I'm closing out of this work and I'm not thinking about it for the rest of the day. I'm gonna go enjoy the day. When I open up my computer, it's not gonna be all that work that I forgot to do or didn't do left open for me when I open it. So yeah, identity has helped me have a better relationship with the work that I do on my computer. So right now identity lets you make up to 40 tiles for free. And that's honestly like a lot. <laughs> And it's five bucks a month if you need unlimited tiles. And just for full disclosure, Identity did actually give me a full account for free. And initially when I had the account made and I saw everything, I was like, ah, you know, this, this tool, I don't really think it's that important. But I gave it a shot. I continued to talk to Jeremy about it and he was super insightful about what this tool actually is supposed to be for. You know, you, anybody could take the websites that they use, throw them in a Google Doc, and voila, you have an identity competitor. But if you're the type of person that just wants to throw that raw information into a Google Doc, or just use some random bookmark tool that doesn't really offer you organization or whatever, I don't think identity is for you. Sure, it's nice that identity has all the raw information of all the tools that you use, but it's really about the systemic organization and the aesthetic nature that you are presented this information that brings identity to a much more powerful tool than what it might appear to be on the surface. Now, if you're ready to sign up for an account, you can go to the link in the description and it will take you to this web page right here. And every person that signs up for an identity account actually goes through an onboarding process with their co-founder, Jeremy. And I personally think this is a great idea because he can walk you through all the purpose behind identity and how to make it super useful specifically for you. So yeah, I would definitely take advantage of that opportunity to talk to Jeremy and really get your workflow to be the best that it is for you. And there is a referral program. So if you do go try out identity from this video, uh, definitely put me down as your referral. It'll be a huge help to me and would definitely support the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. It would mean a lot for me and the channel as we continue to grow. Uh, and if you didn't like it, that's okay too. But subscribe for more videos where we take a look at different unique and innovative technologies that help you boost your workflow. And we also look at some MacBook stuff and whatever else we feels fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Peace.